Hi everyone, Alex here. Continuing with the HVAC series. Insight number three. On this one, we're gonna create an energy model to get ready to export it and do energy analysis and insight. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Just summarizing, if we go here under Analyze, we gave the building a location, right? That's our location. So we have our weather station. We have our inf weather information pulled out of that weather station. And now we're going to create an energy model that is based on some energy settings. If you have been following the series, you know that we said we were going to use both conceptual masses and building elements. The ground plane for this building is level one. You know, we have nothing like underground or anything like that. Uh, this is new construction, brand new construction. We don't have facing or anything. We're okay with an analytical space resolution of 457 millimeters. This is like, you can imagine is the smaller this number, the more granular you can be. Um, we're gonna leave all the other defaults. Let's click into other options a second. Remember we were targeting a percentage glazing of 60% and we had said that this building type was a school or university. We have a certain operating schedule. We say it's a year-round school. We're gonna keep our export category of spaces. I don't know why by default we had this thing, but we don't have a split system. We have a central VAV with electric reheat. So let's just hit okay here. And before we move away from here, take a look at this perimeter zone depth. Okay, this is gonna come into play a little bit later. And now let's create our energy model. I'm gonna click here, telling me that I'm about to create the energy analytical model. That's good. And it takes a little bit. And then it generates our energy model and it creates a new 3D view for us. I have another view here called system zones. And then this is the 3D view that I had open here showing my masses, right? So these two new views were generated by the energy model. Like if I go to energy settings, this depth that you see here, perimeter zone depth, that's what you see here, see? For example, this main corridor here, if I put it on top view, you can see that it almost gets to the middle of a skylight. So if I go to like level one mechanical plan, and what was that? 4572. And I do 4572 you see that that line gets to the middle of the skylight or to the middle of the stair. So that's what it is, you know, it's the depth of the perimeter conditions. All right, so, so far, everything that we have seen is happening within Revit, right? Now, how do we push this up to the cloud? We can come here to generate, and then it's gonna ask me, I have two options, either I use the existing energy analytical model or I update the energy analytical model. This doesn't really matter to us right now because it's the first time we push up there. Let's just practice and go update energy analytical model. And now it's uploading all that to Insight. Now it's notifying me that the process is complete and the energy analytical model has been successfully created. We can just disregard this and click OK. And now I get this disclaimer. You make sure you read it. I'm going to accept. Then you get an email from Autodesk saying that they got your model. Now if I go back to insight360.autodesk.com and I log in, now I see my first project created. If I click in there, there it is. You see how it's named the same way as my project? The analysis is still in progress, that's why I cannot see it yet. Then you get a second email saying that the analysis is complete. If we go back now to um, Insight 360 and we log in, you'll see that if I click on my Insight, see this is the, the icon for Insight. If I click on it, here I'll have all my projects uh, uncategorized. You know, you can have like subfolders and subcategories. In this case, I only have one project. And you see, this is the same name, right, as my project. My project's name 001MAC3INSIGHT. And that's the name that we have here, 001MAC3INSIGHT. So if I click on it, now I get all this information. 
and in the next video we're going to dive in a little bit more on what this means.